Hi friends. This year we have worked very hard at learning the nonfiction text features that help us as a reader to understand the text that we are reading. So we're going to go over these text features and afterwards I want you to look at the text. Let's go to the moon, which is in 1.4 of your anthology, starting at page 15. And I want you to tell me what are some of the text features that the author uses uh, in, the store, in the text to help you as a reader understand. These are some of the things we're looking for. We are looking for a header. Remember, a header, just like my head, is at the top. And headers help us to understand the information that we're going to be reading underneath. It gives us a clue as to, hey, here's the topic that you're going to be reading about. Bold letters. Remember, these are the ones that are darker and they stand out. They also could be highlighted and this, again, helps us to focus. Maybe it's a vocabulary word that is specific to this text. It helps us to recognize that this word is important and maybe we want to look it up to make sure we understand what the meaning is. Photographs. Photographs are in nonfiction text because nonfiction is about real things. And that means that photographs are available because it's about real information. So photographs help us to see things that we might not actually get to see in real life because maybe it's places that we've never been or maybe it's up close images that we wouldn't be able to see without a microscope or maybe it's, um, you know, something that would be dangerous for us to get near and so somebody else has taken uh, pictures of it for us to see. Labels. Labels point things out on a picture, on a photograph, and they often will use diagrams or charts and those labels help us to know and understand what's important about that picture. Captions. Captions are there because they tell us what we're looking at when we're looking at a photograph. An author will put a caption underneath that photo so we know exactly what that photo is and we don't have to guess. Vocabulary words. And vocabulary words are words that are specific to that text. Maybe they have a special meaning or maybe they're words that we probably wouldn't normally know except that we're reading about them. And so it makes them important because to understand the text, we need to understand the word itself. And so we often want to look that word up in hopefully a glossary that we have that goes along with the text. And if we don't have the glossary, we can look it up on our computer or <gasps> the book called the dictionary that we could use too. Close-ups. Close-ups are those pictures, again, that are really close and they help us to see these fine details that are in the text that are probably described in that text or mentioned in the text. It allows us to understand exactly what that looks like if we were to get really, really close to it. And then a glossary. That's where you have vocabulary all in one place. And we know that vocabulary is important because it's words that we need to know. So what I want you to do is I want you to check out the book, the text, Let's Go to the Moon, and flip through it. Hopefully, you're going to see some of these nonfiction text features that we've already learned about. And that will help clue you in as to what's really important in this text. So go ahead and do the slide that goes with our nonfiction text features.